Hey, what's up, Budget Builders? My name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your fourth stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Friday, June the 25th. Good morning, everyone, and we have some breaking news to share with you. I told you guys that President Biden was meeting with lawmakers regarding the bipartisan infrastructure package yesterday. Well, that actually happened, and Biden said yes. He said yes to the deal that was proposed. The bipartisan lawmakers, the White House officials, and and President Biden have agreed to the proposed infrastructure plan that was presented and now they will work towards the next steps in getting this bill passed into legislation. And we also have $600 stimulus checks that have started to arrive in people's bank accounts. This is the Golden State stimulus that was approved in California. Are you guys on that list to receive one? Well, I sure hope so because they are finally going out to everyone that qualifies. Now, those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, we are at the point of no return where we have a bipartisan group of lawmakers that consists of five Republicans and five Democrats have gotten together to prepare a bipartisan bill that both parties can agree on. After failed negotiations between the Biden administration and the GOP senators, the bipartisan group decided to develop its own plan in hopes that it will be accepted by many. Well, that's exactly what happened. And on Wednesday, the bipartisan group introduced the bill to some White House officials and they both agreed on the proposal. And then yesterday, that bill was presented to President Biden to see what he thought. And shockingly, Biden said yes. Biden said yes, guys. So we now have the bill on the table that could be signed into legislation very soon. But there are some steps that need to happen prior to that. And we will talk about that in just a moment. But first, let's go over exactly what's included in this infrastructure plan. I downloaded the details from the whitehouse.gov website and I will put it here on the screen right here. And it reads, transportation is for $312 billion, roads, bridges, major projects for $109 billion, safety for $11 billion, public transit for $49 billion, passenger and freight rail for $66 billion, EV infrastructure for $7.5 billion, electric buses and transit for $7.5 billion, reconnect Connecting communities for 1 billion, airports for 25 billion, ports and waterways for 16 billion, infrastructure financing for 20 billion, and then other infrastructure for 266 billion, water infrastructure for 55 billion, broadband infrastructure for 65, environmental remediation for 21 billion, power infrastructure including grid authority 73 billion, western water storage 5 billion, and resilience for 47 billion, and all of that for a total of 579 billion dollars in new spending money. And then if we go ahead and flip to the second page, it has different ways for financing this bill. And it reads proposed financing sources for new investment. And it says reduce the IRS tax gap, unemployment insurance program integrity, redirect unused unemployment insurance relief funds, repurpose unused relief funds from the 2020 emergency relief legislation, state and local investment in broadband infrastructure, allow states to sell or purchase unused toll credits for infrastructure infrastructure, extend expiring customs, user fees, reinstate super fund fees for chemicals, 5G spectrum auction proceeds, extend extend mandatory sequester, strategic petroleum reserve sale, public-private partnerships, private activity bonds, direct pay bonds and asset recycling for infrastructure investment, macroeconomic impact of infrastructure investment. Man, I don't even know what all of these things mean, but these are just the proposals of where they hope to get the money from in order to pay for this infrastructure plan. Now, so far, this infrastructure deal is roughly about $1.2 trillion, but as they move along, the price tag could increase even more. But let's be clear, guys, this is only a plan so far. First, you end up having the plan, and then you end up having the bill, and then you end up voting on the bill, and then you have the signing of the bill by the president, and then you have it turned into law. So yes, there are still a few more steps that need to happen before this is turned into reality. 
But it is a great start in the right direction. But now that President Biden has said yes to the bill, does that mean that Chuck Schumer and Bernie Sanders are not going to continue to develop that massive $6 trillion package? I don't think that this will affect it now as their bill encompasses a whole lot of more items and things for the American people. But unfortunately, this bipartisan bill does not include any stimulus checks. It doesn't have any corporate tax hikes, similar to what President Biden and other progressive lawmakers were calling for. All of the other things that I mentioned on the list were well below the initial amount suggested, but at least we have a start, guys. We should know more in the coming days, and I will keep you guys posted as things change or shape up. And now in other news, $600 stimulus checks are coming your direction. You guys remember that Golden State stimulus in California where low income earners were going to receive an additional stimulus check of $600? Well, there are reports that people are starting to receive those this week in their bank accounts and in the mail. I had a few people comment down below and let the community know that they received their checks. Also, if you are on SSI, one person commented that if you are on SSI, you do not have to file your taxes to receive the $600 stimulus check. Now, I don't know how true this is because I thought that you did have to file your taxes so that they would have your information on file, but maybe not, guys. Now, if that affects you, maybe someone else can comment down below and let us know that answer because it would just help out the community. Now, speaking of California, Governor Newsom is trying to get a bill passed to where the state will cover all rent payments that were late or missed from everyone in the state that was affected by the pandemic. Before you get too excited, guys, this is just a proposal so far, but I wanted to alert you guys on what's cooking in the background. And if this happens, this will help so many struggling families in California right now, but not only California, pretty much every state is offering some type of rental assistance to help struggling families. So if you are in need of a little assistance right now with paying your rent, be sure to just Google your state name and rental assistance to see what type of programs that you find in your state. I keep reading all sorts of stories about people finally receiving their rental assistance that they filed the application for a few months prior. So those are actually starting to happen as well in some states. And I hope all of this information helps you guys out. And last but not least, guys, hey, that Rakuten promotion where you can get $30 for free is almost over. The last day to sign up is June the 30th. Rakuten is a cashback portal that offers you cashback percentages of the amount that you actually spend at your favorite stores like Amazon, Kohl's, Walmart, Target, and many, many more. All you have to do is just go to their website, Rakuten.com, and then click on your favorite store, and then it will redirect you to Walmart.com, and then it tracks how much money you spend at Walmart and then you get free money back in return. It's super easy guys and I've been using this for several years now. But go ahead and sign up today to take advantage of this special promotion where you can get $30 for free. And obviously if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. This has been another Four Stimulus Check update news for today. Now, if you enjoyed any of this information or found it to be useful, go ahead and click on the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot, and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.